I'm moving on to drilling the holes now in the cylinders and the uh, the valve chest. So in my last clips, what you saw, you'll have seen me getting me uh, my cylinders made and to shape, and the hole boring, etc. And I've now also finished the valve chest. They just want the uh, this end turning on where the glands go for the for the spindle where it comes through. But they're all to shape now, and. What you have to do next, you have to make a jig to get all your holes, the, the position for all your holes. And here's the jig. It's a, it's a plate and it's a dual purpose jig. So it's got all the holes for the, the clamping of the cylinder, cylinder to the frame and then it, it doubles up as a jig for doing the valve chest holes four legs and it's got a clamping bar that goes through which comes through the plate to hold the cylinder in position it's got various cutouts for reference points etc etc uh, and I'm not taking that route um, just to be different I'm doing it a different way but if you're doing it by the book that's the method you'll do it by by making this clamping jig to clamp your cylinder and your valve chest and your yeah, and your valve chest on. So what I'm doing, um, if you if you remember back to the days when I was doing my frame and and go back to them videos, you'll have seen me when I've had the frame sides clamped together to drill all the holes in, including the fixing points for the cylinders. There. And because they were clamped together, they are identical on both sides. So I know they are identical. And what I've done, what the way I'm doing this, I've got this piece of aluminium plate here. It's actually clamped to my cylinder now, ready. But that piece of plate, I put it onto my frame there where, to cover those holes. And I likely clamped it with this plastic clamp that I've got so I didn't spoil paintwork. And while it's clamped in position, I've um, I've transferred, punched all the holes from the frame into the plate, and I've drilled them holes. But the important thing is here: if you remember back to my frame days, and you'll have to take a look back at them if you don't understand what I'm saying now. I've still got the line drawn on on my frames here. And it's like an imaginary line that goes from the centre of your driving wheels up through the centre of the bore of the cylinders. And on mine you can just see the, the line through the paintwork and I've just highlighted it with a pencil mark. You might not be able to see that because it's that it's really faint. But that was I put that on my frame at the very early stages when I were doing me when I were doing my frames. So you'll have to take a look at back, a look back at that if you don't understand what I'm on about. Um, so yeah, that's that's your imaginary imaginary driving line through your driving wheels through your cylinder centres. So if you look at this little jig I've made. That, that's sitting on top of my frame and you can see that my cylinder is going off at an angle and that's the angle of that imaginary, imaginary driving line and I've, I've put all my centre lines on my cylinders and I've drawn a centre line on this plate while it was, while it was fastened on there I've, I've followed it through to get my cylinder lined up with a with the same line on this plate. The, uh, then I've took it off and I've drilled the holes and I've put these two little plates on to give me a 90 degree angle to push my cylinder up to and I know all my centre lines are lined up on that plate now and the reason I've put them plates on is because because these cylinders are handed as are the valve chests they're handed I can't just get my other cylinder and put it on this side because it's going opposite way. So I've got to move these two 
uh, reference plates onto the other side of this aluminium plate then offer my cylinder up and clamp it up on this side because they're, hand they're handed so that's the reason I've made them little plates so I'm now ready for transferring these holes from the plate onto my cylinders then I'll take the plate off and I'll drill the cylinders to suit to the relevant depths and tap, tap them to fit on the frame uh, so that's my cylinders now the the valve chest if you're doing it the other route with this with this uh, with this jig this j doubles up to do your valve the holes in your valve chest but what I'm doing I'm just going to put my valve chest back in my milling machine set it up true and use my uh, digital readouts to, to get my hole centers around this valve chest and then I'm just going to use my valve chest as a jig to uh, to transfer onto my cylinder straight through my valve chest and same with my, my cylinder covers I'll just put them onto my valve chest and transfer them through so both sides will, will have a matching pair then and that's the route I'm going to take uh, right so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead now and make a a punch to transfer these holes in I'm going to get them holes drilled I'm going to get them holes drilled do the other side get the valve chest done and then we'll reconvene and I'll probably be ready for then uh, putting the uh, port holes in into the cylinders and transferring the holes from the valve chest into the cylinders so that's just a little quick update there for you and I'll catch you on my next little clip then